Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part three of my How to Lay Out a Website video tutorial, where I will take you step by step through the process of creating this design that you see here on the screen completely out of my head so that you can see exactly how I lay out websites and hopefully learn something along the way. Well, in part one and two, which you can see links to above this video, and you should definitely watch those before you watch those, I created what you see here on the right side of the screen. Well, today I'm going to create the middle two bars that you see right here and I'm just going to jump right into it right at the end of end of left sidebar which is a div that surrounds all of this content here I'm going to create a new set of middle bars that I'm going to throw some information into so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a div I'm going to shut off caps lock though and I'm going to create a div there's going to be two of these so I'm going to assign a class to it instead of an ID and then I'm going to close off that div and throw in a comment so that I know where it begins and where it ends. So this middle column div is going to surround all of this content in a single column and there's going to be two of those. Well then what I got to do is create another div class is equal to middle container is what I'm going to call it and again close off that div. And what middle container is going to do is it's a div that's going to surround all of this content in this block right here. So now I'm going to continue making additional divs. I need to make a title and that is going to be this guy up here that's listed as article and I can zoom in on this. There, now you can probably see it a lot better. And I'm going to call it middle title, give it an h4 tag because that's what I've been doing. And call it article, close off the h4 tag, close off the div. And then I'm going to put a featured image inside of here and I know because I have a placeholder image which is right here I know the dimensions on that image and the dimensions are 260 pixels wide by 142 pixels in height and I'm not going to put it inside of a div I could but I'm not going to I just have to say here's the location which I just showed you featured image ping alt and I'm just gonna call it featured image and like I told you 260 pixels wide height is equal to 142 pixels class featured image so that I can target it and move it around wherever I want to because you can probably guess I'm gonna have to move it around a good bit. Then I have to create this middle title here that's called Facebook marketing. So I'm gonna create another div. That's all you do over and over again is create divs and move them around. Middle letter title. I'm gonna bold it because that's what the design looks like. And then I'm gonna create a date because eventually now this can definitely be used as a standalone website. No problem there but I'm eventually gonna turn this into a WordPress theme. And all of the code here, HTML code, CSS, all that is available right underneath this video. Click on the link and you can do whatever you want with it. I get asked that all the time, that's why I bring it up all the time. And then, I have to create a horizontal rule, scroll this up, and I'm actually going to create a div that is going to represent a horizontal rule. I'm not gonna use the standard horizontal rule because I like to move the horizontal rule around nice and that's how I do it. And then you come to the actual content, making it in a paragraph like I often do. Middle excerpt, and then I have to get some lorem ipsum, copy, and paste that in there. And I'm just gonna cut it off based off of what I have in the layout. And I'm gonna do an H reference, a link, to the actual article content and I'm going to call it click for more. Close that off and then just type in more. A tag and then close off the paragraph tag. And there it is. That's everything that you need to create this guy. However, if I show you what that looks like and we file save this and reload it, you're going to see it's a total mess. Now what I got to do is jump into the CSS and fix it up. And I have all the CSS embedded in this. I never do that, but I'm doing it just so I can keep all my files all in the same place. And I can pretty much remember what this looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump in here and start editing it itself. First thing I'm going to do, I have middle column, which is the column that surrounds the div column that surrounds all three of these guys. And I'm going to define a width for this of, I had, I'm guessing like 260 pixels based off of what happened before. And then I know I'm going to want to put a margin on the right and let's say 20 pixels because that's what I did before also. That doesn't mean it's going to work. We're just going to go and see how things look and then adjust based off of that. So file save. All right, so we got that moved in and it looks like it, it might be right. Okay, so now what do we got to do? We might have to come back to middle column, make a couple changes, but I think for the most part, everything there is going to be fine. Middle container. All right, background color. I know I can get this right. This is white, FFF. Then border. Well, I used three pixels before, so I'm going to use three pixels again. So I'm doing exactly the same thing as, in the, as what we have here in the left sidebar. So I know that's going to work. So put a border on it. Margin, I'm just going to use 10 pixels again because it's what I used before. Yeah, I'm kind of copying a lot. Width, 
I'm going to leave that at 260 pixels. Oh, that's what I did before. Height, I have no idea. So I'm going to put in 300 pixels. And padding, 2 pixels. Let's file save it. See where we're at. Reload. Okay, so... Eh, not quite certain here. It's looking about right. So now what do I got to do? I'm going to start messing around with the middle title, which is what says article here, like who we are. And I'm going to use who we are kind of as an example. The middle title and my font, I'm going to use the same exact thing. Actually, let's grab all of this and see how much of it applies. All right, so my font, I'm going to leave it exactly the same. Background color, going to leave it the same. Color, I'm going to leave it the same. Width is definitely going to be wrong. Let's say 175 instead, because it's going to be a longer thing, a longer bar. As you can see here, this bar is longer than this bar. Height, more than likely going to be the same. Text align right, definitely going to be the same. Padding right, six pixels, probably going to be real close to being right. And I'm definitely going to position it relative. And 78, negative 21, those might be perfect. One thing I am going to do here, change the Z index. I'm going to change it to 20. What's that going to allow it to do is float over top of this featured image. Now let's file save it and see where we're going. All right, pretty good, pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap here. I'm not quite sure if you can see that or not. So there's a little bit of a gap there. So that means my width needs to change. Let's say 80. Okay, that's a little bit over. I'm also kind of wondering if this is wide enough, meaning the middle container, because I don't think it is quite wide enough. Let's take it up to 64, reload. And then let's take this up a little tiny bit more, middle title that is. Actually, it's just a little bit up too far. Let's move it from the left a little tiny bit. 72, meaning the positioning from the left side of this bar that it's inside of. I'm sort of flipping around here a little bit. Okay, and let's try this at 88, I'll say. All right, that's, this is just about perfect. Padding right, let's just take this up to about seven. Perfect, okay, so I got that in the perfect, perfect, perfect position. Everything else looks like pretty good too. So now what we're gonna start doing is messing around with a featured image. So what are we gonna do? Position it, relative, left, let's go one pixel. And then how far up in the air are we gonna want this guy to go? Because we want it to go underneath that banner. Let's try 50 pixels. Reload, okay, that was too much. Let's take a little bit off of it. Let's try 45. Perfect, okay, so that's looking good. Remember, this is just a placeholder. That doesn't mean it's gonna look that way later on. All right, so now we gotta start playing around with the middle part title which is this title, Facebook Marketing, right there. If you can't see this, look at it full screen. All right, so we're going to position it relative. And from the top, let's try negative 50 pixels. That's 45. That eh, looks about right. Let's see. And padding left. Let's try four pixels. All right, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. It's pretty tight. Let's see here. Mm, a little bit. Let's say a little bit. Not quite so much up there. Let's try 45. I'll save. All right, much better. And aside from that, as far as I can tell, everything looks pretty good. So then we got to go middle, art, date. And as I was creating these divs, I just have them written down on a piece of paper. That's why I don't have to refer down to their names constantly. Position relative, top. I'm guessing it's going to be negative 45 pixels, just like the top one. Batting left, guess what? It's going to be four pixels, just like before. Reload, perfect. We're getting there. We're almost done, actually. Now I got to create the horizontal rule. And I already used horizontal rule in the left sidebar, so I'm going to call this horizontal mid rule. Background color, because it's a div. The gray color I used before. Height is going to be two pixels, like I used before. Width is going to be completely different. Let's try 170 pixels. Margin, left, we'll say three pixels. Position, relative. And let's say we want to move that guy up 50 pixels from where it's laying at. Mm, too much. Okay, oh, I should have made it 45. Being a little stupid, that's okay. Now what did I do over in the layout? In the layout, this goes the whole way across the screen, so that's just dead wrong. So I gotta make this go the whole way across the screen. So I'm gonna look up here, so width 264, let's say 250. Almost there, let's try four. Reload, all right, looking good, looking good. And then we just have to do the middle excerpt, color. This is the text color, 2F, 4F. And I use the same colors over and over and over again. Font size, I'm going to change it to the same font size used in the left sidebar. 10 point, margin, left. It's going to be three pixels, just like it was before. Position relative. If there's any questions you have, leave them down below, and I'll do my best to get to them. And top, meaning how far up from the top, from the bottom or where it is right now do I want to move it. Reload, looking pretty sharp. So let's look over here and see what this guy looks like. All right, so this is pretty tight, while this is a little bit looser. So i got to move this up a little bit. So I gotta go to middle container, and this is the height. Well, let's lop off 30. Pretty tight, looking really, really, really good. And technically, I'm pretty much done. All I'm gonna have to do now is scroll down to the very bottom of the screen, 
and see where it says end of middle container. Well, I gotta select that, one of the reasons why we use comments. And then I'm gonna come up here and copy this guy. And instead of three like the original layout, I think it's gonna look better with four. So I'm gonna go two, three, four. Reload, and there you go. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I might change that back to three later on, but I think it looks pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is go to end of middle column. Second, middle, column, close off that comma. And then I'm gonna come down to middle column, select all that, div class, middle column, copy it, scroll way to the bottom, and right before content wrapper, come in here, paste that in, file save, reload, doink. Now if we zoom out, you can see that everything is coming out pretty, pretty good. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.